Hi guys and welcome back to another Star Wars themed Minecraft video. Now today's video what we're going to be doing is carrying on with what we started in the last video. So as you can see we've got a few houses dotted around this map, like a little market stall over there. If you haven't seen the last video, um, I'll leave a link to it now I guess in the top right hand corner of the screen. So yes, that's the last video and today's video we're basically going to be carrying on with building a few of these large buildings and maybe doing a bit of decorating with a few like leaves and things around the area. So I'm going to try and keep uh, with this theme of build, so with these two, well, there's multiple colours in here, but these two sandy colours and the red, like, orangey colours. I think that would be pretty cool for making the rest of the buildings, and I'll be using that theme and a few other block combinations just to create this kind of map what I've taken from the Star Wars concept art picture I've found. So I guess we'll carry on building this, and I'll start the time-ups now, so I hope you really enjoy, and we'll see you afterwards. Welcome back and I hope you've really enjoyed that time up. Now what we're going to be doing is having a look at what we built in the time ups and all the different features of it. So I guess we'll walk over here. And before we get started with this build, I thought I'd just mention this cool little path that leads up to it. It has stone and like cobblestone and stone bricks in it as you can see. That looks quite cool for this little path. And first of all we come to this kind of ticket office what I try to build. Now this isn't really in the concept art but I've built it in because from the concept art I can see this big building and I thought it could be some sort of entertainment place. So what I'm meaning by this is if you think of Moss Eisley's Cantina in Star Wars, 
it's kind of got this like big pub sort of thing I guess and it's all decorated like that so this could be like a ticket office for that sort of thing or something along those lines which would kind of follow with the walls and stuff where it's kind of you know you have to pay for a fee or and get tickets to enter that sort of thing and also an added kind of little bit of detail to this build if you move far away if you have a look at the torches on the building they kind of look like some decoration what you might have in some sort of cantina so they kind of yeah if you move kind of further away they almost look like fairy light sort of things yeah that looks pretty cool but anyway another small little feature outside is this waterfall not waterfall this fountain and it's quite simple but kind of fits well in the build and sits there pretty cool but anyway we're gonna have a quick look at this wall now so these outer watchtowers are basically the same build as this one over here i started to build them a little bit differently but then decided i might as well just copy the roof over it pretty much made them identical so as you see we've got two of them on either side and yep got this little top bit and they can be like watchtowers for guests at this cantina who walk along the walls have a look at the view and once we go in the watchtower to have a better view so i can kind of show you that from up here obviously you can't actually see out the windows because they've got lights behind them which just illuminate the place a little bit and that's why you can't see out the windows so it does kind of look, look quite cool with those lights move it further away i've not actually seen it at night time yet but yeah that looks pretty awesome quite pleased with that so now the normal daytime is back and we're gonna have a quick look at this wall so we've had a look at the watchtowers and as you can see we've got this detailed wall here i'm quite pleased with this it does very well fit with the build and the build style and the box as you can see we've got the greys we've got the oranges and we've got the sand color so I'm quite pleased with that and it has a pattern which is the same all the way around and yeah i think it fits with this build quite well it's very simple but it's, yeah, it does work very well. So, last thing to mention on this wall really is actually a few other things. But last bit on this front wall to mention is this kind of gate. And this is to allow people through. If they come into the canteen, as you can see, we've got this big, large gate, arch gate. And yeah, it looks quite cool. It's very simple. And it could actually probably do with those orange box swapping with sand colored box. So in my opinion, that looks a little bit better. So anyway, we're going to have a look at these little watchtowers. These are a bit different. Is kind of more like scenic watchtowers. So I'm not going to move around too much, but as you can see, the shaders make it look a lot better. And this is kind of why the watchtower's here, just so you can have a look out the view. And chunks aren't loading as fast because it's very, very laggy with the shader. Because I've just put on the maximum shader. You see, if we move down here, you can see all the reflections. And it does look really, really cool. Oh, there we go. I'll look up here. Yeah, it does look really cool. And from the watchtower as well. So I'll put normal Minecraft back on. And normal Minecraft is back. So let's go up to the main tower again. So the other watchtowers are pretty much identical to this. The last thing to show you with this wall is this kind of like double layered wall here. It's not that big of a deal, it's just that there's more of a terrain difference over here. So we needed this like double thickness wall. Or not thickness, but double height wall. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And on the inside we'll show you the garden very quickly before I just mention this big build over here which you can clearly see. We've got these little lamps which just illuminate the path. They're quite simple but okay, I'm quite pleased with those. And the um, day daylight sensors, I believe they're called, um, go quite well with this acacia fence down here, which is just a retextured block, which I made. So, let's have a look at this bench. There is also benches dotted around, as as you can see here, but I tried to make them. And I'm, they're alright, you can kind of tell they're a bit, bit of a bench, so yeah, very pleased with those. So, as mentioned before, we've got these little lights down here, what kind of look like fairy lights for, I don't know, an entertainment. You might have them around shops, I'm not sure. But yeah, just kind of make it look a bit nicer. And in here you've just got this big window which is again obscured because of the lamps behind them. That's pretty much the build and I hope you've really enjoyed this. And we're going to be carrying on with another build next time. We're either going to be decorating the market. We're going to be building an, maybe another few houses up here. And in another episode building up here. Then decorating with like foliage around. And once the train loads in. Putting some structures on these large spikes. So that should be pretty much the map completed. And I think... By estimates after this video, I'll say about five or six episodes in this series should complete this map. So, yep, I hope you've really enjoyed it. Let's go over here a little bit so you can see the build. I hope you really enjoyed today's build. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And share if you have really enjoyed the video. So, I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye from Crafting Redstone. This includes the logic gate inputs A and B and also the carryover for doing addition input C. Then we've got the on and off switch.